Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we've come to Restormore Castle. So today's walk will take us through countryside and eventually we're going to find a medieval castle, a Mott and Bailey castle. Our walk today comes from Classic Walks Cornwall 2. It's number 42, a short one today, two and a half miles. Lost Withiel and Restormal Castle. Lost Withiel is north of Foy on the south coast of Cornwall. So we've parked here in the car park in Lost Withiel. This is the main car park in Lost Withiel and it's a free car park. Brilliant. Walk back from the car park to the main A390. Turn left then cross and take the road Duke Street leading uphill next to the Royal Talbot. Follow the road uphill to a T-junction and turn right, continuing past a school on the left. This is a new estate gone in here since the book was written. It's called the Brambles and we're ignoring this one as our turning on the left and going further up the hill. So today we're joined by Emily. Wave Emily! <laughs> our little girl. The instructions note that there is a ladder style halfway along this walk. So we've brought our muscles. I'm here too. And a hoist and we're ready. Shortly after a road on the left, turn left to use a public footpath that is accessed via a metal gate next to a driveway. Nice squeaky gate and a lovely shady path. Follow the shady path, passing over a stile, then walking on a wide track between hedges. We're going up the road on this walk. We chose this walk today so we wouldn't get too wet, but looking at it, we'd have been fine. The other walk takes us that way. It's just a mile longer. Oh, I wish we'd taken that one now. Still, this lane has been very easy to walk along. Not too busy and the cars have been lovely, they've slowed down for us. I'm puffing. <laughs> yes, <am I? laughs> it's been uphill ever since we left Lost with you. Oh. Pass the road on the left and take the next road on the right, signposted Lost with you. Three minutes that way. <laughs> After only a few yards, leave the road and turn left through a gate. So that public footpath sign is tucked away. It's quite easy to miss. You can, just see the tops of it. Oh yeah, look, Millie. Just about make out the top of Ristorma Castle, directly ahead of us. Yeah. Oh, give me an Good boy. Keep ahead and pass over a ladder style. <laughs> right, this is where we need the crane. Dogs to be kept on short leads at all times. Well, this is where the ladder style is meant to be, ladies and gentlemen. I what do you think? It could be down in the field. Oh, you want to reserve judgment yet, do you? <laughs> so, I think they've replaced the style oh, with, with a gate. Oh, oh a little sheeps, look, and they're cute. They took a bath. They're all shitty shoes. Nice. And now you go straight through there. Have you two stopped moaning now? It's an Agnes, isn't it? What? Oh, wow. Danger. Deep mine shaft. Here it is. A big hole in the ground. I was waiting to see some evidence of mining because this was meant to be a stannery town, the most important town in Cornwall at one time. I think they've redirected the footpath because it actually suggests you should be walking along the top of a field here. So walking along the top of the field to cross a tall ladder style in the corner. So hopefully it'll take us to the same point. I think we've just joined up on the other side of the field that we would have walked along the top of. And what's even better is there's no ladder styles to hoist the dogs over. Hooray! <laughs> Now that they've removed all these ladder styles, we could have done the longer walk. We thought that we were going to be doing a workout in the gym because it said it had three or four ladder styles in it. Typical. I wish we'd done the other walk now. I'm going to make a guess. 
So this was built around 1068, 1070? I think 1069. Now I think it's about 50 years after that. I reckon we're looking at the 1100s. Well, the Norman Conquest. Yeah, but they didn't put these up until they'd actually conquered us, did they? They didn't really even come to Cornwall because there weren't many people down here. Yeah, but there was tin. Oh. So here we are at Restormal Castle. That reminds me of that sheep I've just met. What's that? Paying to get in here. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit fleeced. That's not bad. Dogs allowed on leads. Let's go and explore the castle. Restormal Castle was first built before the development of Lost With Eel in about 1100 to control the crossing point of the River Foy. The gatehouse, and that's where the porter would have sat and controlled people coming in and out. A storage pit for victuals. Uh, what? Vittles, vittles, wine and beer and food. Someone's had all that, someone left. So the inner courtyard would have been a, a place to show off really. In here is a kitchen, over here great hall, behind Andrew is the chapel. Ladies' chamber over here and the gatehouse. We are now in the kitchen, and I guess that behind you would have been the fireplace, wouldn't it? So, here is a picture of the Great Hall. It says all the main living quarters in the castle were on the first floor with storage and service areas at ground level. You can see the sockets of the timber beams which supported the floor. Ah, so this is a well dug around 1100 at the time of the first castle. No, that is quite deep, isn't it? <laughs> He's having a little look. <laughs> That's so cute. What's that above the door? Look, pizza oven. Pizza oven. Let's go up onto the ramparts. We're nearly there. Oh, wow. Complete circle. There, that's the kitchen. Hello down there. <laughs> You're in the cellar. <laughs> A hole in the ramparts. <laughs> we all know what that was for. So we can see the chapel from up above. I wonder what all those cuts were for. I wonder if that was where they hung like some paintings. Right, well, let's go all the way round. Mad woman up there walking around the battlements. That was a bit of fun. We'll rejoin our walk now when we leave the castle entrance. Walk through the car park to the entrance in the right corner and follow a tarmac lane downhill to reach for Stormwell Farm. Ah, oh, that guard at the castle. Yeah. He certainly earned his keep. Ah. Uh, oh, castle. Oh. I've been out with dancing canary. <laughs> Turn right and follow the road along the side of the valley to Lostwithiel. The spire of Lostwithiel Church, that's where we're heading. What does it say in the book about it? These words. <laughs> you are so annoying. Yeah. This smell makes me like reminiscent. It's like the smell of a warm, grassy day. <laughs> <laughs> Summer's day. Yeah. It reminds me of Nanny's Field, really. Aww. <laughs> The walk book says this is a two and a half mile walk. 
with a wander around the castle my Fitbit has gone off so I've done my 10,000 steps so it's pretty bad four miles in total so that's not a bad walk really is it so whilst we're here in Lost With you, we thought we'd have a little wander around the town. It used to be one of Cornwall's most important towns, but this is many years ago in the 1200s, 1300s, and the reign of the Plantagenets. It was important because of the rights of the stannery. They were held here in the Great Hall. Let's consult the information board. Uh, so we need to have a look at the church. The Great Hall is number two. Duchy Palace. The great hall, Duchy Palace. The Duchy Palace originally reached along the quay as far as the cobbled archway at the end of South Street. All Cornish affairs and the tin industry were controlled from here, including the courts, treasury, maritime offices, stannery parliament, smelting, coinage and assaying of tin and the stannery prison. This underground space for naughty teenagers. <laughs> At the end of North Street, there is a single traffic bridge. Lost with your bridge. The river was first bridged by the Normans who founded Lost with your. The great bridge of Lost with your, first documented in 1280, has nine arches. The foundations of the four most westerly arches are said to be under North Street. The bridge has undergone changes over the centuries and was rebuilt in the 15th century. It's narrowly escaped being blown up by the Parliamentary Army in 1644 during the English Civil War. St Bartholomew's Church, founded in the 12th century. The square tower was added to the church in the 13th century. Five to three, I wonder if the bells will go off. Let's go and have a little explore inside the church. It's open. <laughs> the east window dates from the 14th century rebuild. The church was desecrated during the Civil War and it was used to stable horses. It was said that one was christened Charles by parliamentarian soldiers. So it's quite strange they've left this sarcophagus style grave, but all of the other ones they've taken up and placed against the wall. I guess it's still a memorial. It's not quite like a traditional graveyard though, is it? Our walk today comes from Classic Walks Cornwall 2. It's number 42, a short one today, two and a half miles, Lost Withiel and Restormall Castle. Quick look at the map. We start in Lost Withiel itself, walk up past the school, along a very quiet little lane, cross some fields, that was lovely, and you get your first glimpse of the castle, come back down the road towards Lost Withiel. So I walked today from Lost Withiel to Restormall Castle. I really enjoyed it, the map worked, the directions were fine, where we had to deviate a little bit, the council assigned it really easy, made it better because there was no ladder style. What brilliant. did you think? Yeah, really enjoyed the castle. Well worth the effort going up there and having a good look around. And the views are fantastic from up there. So much history. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then we've been rewarded with just a little wander around Lost Withiel. Lovely little so town to, to wander around. Beautiful yeah. little spot, yes. Come in and have a coffee whilst you're down here. Walk down by the river, it's beautiful. So what would you score it? I think it's got to be a 10 out of 10. I agree. 10 out of 10. Well done, Lost Withiel.